problem number 55, we're asked to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of the following function. f of x is equal to 3x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 36x squared divided by x to the fourth minus 25x squared plus 144. Okay, so we're going to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of each. Uh, let's start with horizontal. To find the horizontal asymptotes of a function, then I wanted to uh, take the limit as x goes to infinity of the function. Now, uh, we've already been through this that first thing we do there is we find the highest power of x on the top or the bottom. In this case, the highest power of x is 4, and it's the same on top and bottom. So what I can do is this is a 1x to the fourth, and I can just look at what are the coefficients of the x to the fourth terms. In this case, it's 3 over 1, and so the horizontal asymptote is y equals 3. And that's, uh, we can practically just read the horizontal asymptote right off of the function. Uh, what if we want to find the vertical asymptote or asymptotes? To find the vertical asymptotes, then I need to completely factor the function. So let's do that. I get that f of x is equal to, uh, the first thing I do when factoring the top is let's pull out as much as we can. So everything here has a factor of 3x squared. So I'll take out 3x squared. And what's left inside? Uh, here I get an x squared. Uh, here I would get an x. And here I would get a negative 12. On the bottom, uh, there's nothing to pull out, uh, but this is going to factor into two factors of x squared. Uh, so I'm going to get an x squared, let's see, I suppose it's going to be minus 9, and an x squared uh, minus, what would it be, um, 16? Yes. So uh, I can factor the top one more time, and I get that f of x is equal to 3x squared times this one factors again into, uh, let's see, we've got uh, x uh, plus 4 times x minus 3. And on the bottom, notice that these are both uh, the difference of squares, so they both can continue to factor. So x squared minus 9 can factor to x minus 3 times x plus 3. And x squared minus 16 can factor to x minus 4 times x plus 4. And now the question is, what about the factors on the bottom? Let's look at each one individually and decide, is it a vertical asymptote or is it a hole in the graph? x minus 3, do, is there an x minus 3 on the top to, so to speak, cancel this guy out? Yes, there is. So at 3, I have a hole in the graph. What about x plus 3? Uh, x plus 3, is there an x plus 3 on top? No, there's not. So that means x plus 3 generates a vertical asymptote. And so there's a vertical asymptote at x is equal to negative 3. What about x minus 4? Same thing, there's no x minus 4 on the top to cancel that guy out. So x equals 4 is a vertical asymptote. And finally, what about x plus 4? Well, x plus 4 also shows up on top. So at x is equal to negative 4, there's a hole in the graph. So that means I only have two vertical asymptotes.
I have a vertical azimuth of x equals negative 3 and a vertical azimuth of x is equal to 4. 